After a drawn out investigation into Gabby Petito's murder, officials have announced that they discovered human remains which they believe belong to Brian Laundry, her missing fiance. Here's what we know so far. The FBI said in a press conference Wednesday that the remains were found near Brian Laundry's belongings, including a backpack and notebook, in an area that had been underwater until recently. The FBI's evidence response team is now processing the area for additional forensic evidence. According to the family's lawyer, on Tuesday, Laundry's parents told law enforcement that they intended to search an area of Carlton Reserve where Brian liked to hike. The area had been closed to the public over the last month as police conducted a massive manhunt, but was recently reopened. The family was joined in their search by law enforcement and it was shortly after their arrival that they found something. Fox News had reported that a canine unit and coroner were brought to the scene after possible human remains were located near a backpack and notebook that belonged to Laundry. In a video obtained by Fox News, Brian's parents can be seen talking with an officer who appeared to say they, quote, might have found something. It's unclear what prompted Laundry's parents to search this area of the Carlton Reserve at this particular moment. The park is massive, spanning more than 24,000 acres, and it's only a few miles from the Laundry's home. Brian's parents previously said that the last time they saw him was when he left to go hiking in the Carlton Reserve. A vehicle belonging to the Laundry's was found abandoned near the park and was returned to their home before police later removed it during the investigation. Laundry has been missing since mid-September and is still considered the only person of interest in Petito's death, which was recently ruled a homicide by a Wyoming medical examiner. In the manner of death of Gabrielle Lenora Petito, we find the cause and manner to be cause death by strangulation and manner uh, is homicide. Petito was reported missing on September 11th after she failed to check in with her parents for several weeks. At the time, she and Laundrie were on a cross-country road trip, which Petito, a travel blogger, was documenting on social media. Starting in July, Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie were traveling across the country and living out of their van. The couple's idyllic life of travel, however, was not without serious bumps in the road. Police in Moab, Utah said on August 12th that Gabby and Brian had been in, quote, some sort of altercation, even though they reported they are in love and engaged to be married. Police questioned both Gabby and Brian, but ultimately no one was arrested and no charges were filed. Around August 27th, Petito stopped communicating with her family, and the pair stopped posting to social media altogether. On August 30th, Petito's family received their last text from Gabby. It read simply, no service in Yosemite. I was worried probably day four and five. I started, I was texting her every day anyway, but I wasn't getting responses. Laundry, meanwhile, returned alone to his family's home in Florida around September 1st. After Petito's disappearance began to make national headlines, Laundry also disappeared. At the time, his family told law enforcement they believed he could be in the Carlton Reserve. Officers and search parties scoured the forests and swamplands day after day with no sign of him though. The story of Petito's disappearance and murder, followed by Laundrie's own disappearance, captured the nation and led to many social media personalities conducting their own investigations. A family of YouTubers discovered that they had driven by Petito's van in late August. They published the video online and soon after, the FBI discovered Gabby's body nearby. Even Dog the Bounty Hunter joined the search, although it's unclear whether any of his leads helped investigators. Because I lost a daughter at about the same age, that's I know what the parents feel like, okay? And you want justification. You want the guy behind bars. All of it's alleged that he even committed the murder, but uh, circumstantially, it looks like he did. Possible sightings were reported as far away as North Carolina and Tennessee. In one case, a hiker on the Appalachian Trail was ambushed by U.S. Marshals because he looked similar to the laundry. Police broke down the door to his hotel room with riot shields and guns pointed at his head. One TikTok user went viral for his videos about people believing that he was Brian Laundry. And I was like, I have no idea who you're talking about. Um, and then someone showed me a picture and I was like, oh no. While the search for Brian appears to be over, questions still remain over what happened between him and Gabby in Wyoming, as well as the timing and circumstances surrounding Laundry's apparent death. Her life was stolen from her. She was stolen. She was taken from us. This was like evil. She was taken. As we wait for more details, stay up to date at dailywire.com. I'm Cabba Phillips. Thanks for watching.